The following contest is a submission match. Making his way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. Here he is, the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. Yeah, according to him, Cole, come on, consider the source. Well, he definitely looks ready for what's ahead of him here tonight, that's for sure. I agree with that, Michael. In fact, I don't remember the last time I saw him in better shape than he's in right now. And his opponent from Seattle, Washington, Weighing in at 249 pounds, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Here comes one of the great second generation superstars, Greg the Hammer Valentine. And that bloodline might just be the reason why Valentine is such a natural inside that ring. And he clearly comes into this match in tremendous physical condition. Yeah, but where is he mentally, Cole? That's the real question. I don't care about how good you look. If you don't have it upstairs, you're simply not going to succeed. All right, it's time to get this match going. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. And of course, Byron, this match comes to you from the same city that hosted the historic WrestleMania 11 back in 1995. Let's talk briefly about Bret Hart. So tell us, oh, wise one, what's he got to do to win here tonight? we would be hard-pressed to find a more gifted technical wrestler than Bret Hart. And because of that, I might just sit punishing him with a camel clutch. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Break the hammer, Valentine is making his presence known. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Check out Bret Hart's offense. Driving his knee down. Bret the Hitman Hart is one of, if not the most technically gifted superstar in sports entertainment history. If there's a lock or a hold, the Hitman knows it and knows a counter for it. Prepare to be excellently executed. Greg Valentine starting to fade. I fully expect him to bounce back though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Well, at this point, I don't suspect he'll be putting this submission match on his highlight reel. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Just a hellacious arm bar. Byron, a few moments ago, you mentioned Bret Hart's superior technical abilities. The WWE Universe knows that when the Hitman walks to the ring, he's ready for a showdown. There's no one cooler under pressure inside that ring than the Hitman. You could build a Hall of Fame for all the iconic superstars Bret Hart has defeated. Check out Bret Hart's offense. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy.
Ring post figure four by Bret Hart. Can't waste any time here. This is exactly what Bret Hart was waiting for. With the point of the elbow. Bret Hart is keeping a good tempo now. Check out Bret Hart's offense. He hits him with the knee. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. I think it's clear that Greg the Hammer Valentine is feeling the physicality of this match. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. You hate to give up on a guy, but there may be no way around him taking this loss here tonight. Check out Bret Hart's offense. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. Things definitely aren't looking very good for him right now. He locks in a torturous figure four. He's just about there. He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. If this superstar can just land the finisher here, this match is all but over. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. He has the ability to turn it on in a heartbeat. Break the hammer, Valentine can't be enjoying this. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Uh-oh. The hitman. Sit out, pile driver. Valentine's in a tough spot here, guys. There it is. Now the question is, can Bret Hart finish? Check out Bret Hart's offense. He's inflicting some serious pain here. He is a one-man gang in there. And he executes a picture-perfect Russian leg sweep. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. Oh, how the heck do you get up from that? Oh, he got him with a crossbody. Dropped, and that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, he might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. Oh, and a vicious assault. He's showing amazing agility here. Whoa! Just look at this man. He's all business. It doesn't get any bigger than this. A match under the bright lights of WrestleMania. What's this? Did the hitman come to wrestle or just showboat?
Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Even better the second time around. He wants no part of the outside. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. Whoa! He's in big. He's got him in a tough spot. He's just about there. No, it's not over yet. Wow. Part of me thought he was going to tap, Cole. And he delivers a spirited elbow. The unfortunate reality is he might not get up, which wouldn't shock me one bit. Talk about a beating he's taken here tonight. He's got it in! The sharpshooter! That should do it. I'm sure he's thankful. This one's over. Here is your winner, Bret the Hitman Hart. That'll do it. Bret Hart walks away with the W. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. That's one of those personal WrestleMania moments and memories that will last a lifetime. I'm so glad we all got to be a part of it.